What's going on, everybody? We're here with the Banana Bowl. Um, we got the CWSFL Banana Bowl. We have the East taking on the West here, and um, honestly, it's been a pretty, pretty dominant uh, performance these past two seasons from the West over the East. East, even though they have guys like Free Smith, Melly Perez, um, Jaquan Rios. <laughs> At times, they haven't really been able to, well, find that groove or footing or anything like that here in the in the in the Banana Bowl, as the East has been just not able to keep up. As the the wet uh, the West has been strong, Drew Davis has been able to connect with whoever he needs to. Um, Whoever they have a running back, whether it's been Micah Pope, whether it's Johnny Mutton Chops, whether it's uh, <laughs> Carson Frost, uh, Ernesto, I mean, you know, whoever they got at, at running back that's able to, to, to really shine, and then the defense is able to pick up the stops uh, a few of them at a time, so that way it kind of keeps the keeps the gap the whole, whole way. But this year, a lot of people are thinking it could be a, a different story. Some people think it's one of those situations where um, the East is now finally or uh, strong enough to, to, to beat out the West. But I guess we'll see with the West getting the ball first. And let's check out this West offense. As you have Drew Davis leading the way with... Um, Johnny Mutton Chops and Micah Pope in the backfield. And then you have your receivers of Ben Mock, Dingleberry, and Dunnett. And then you have the clout out the tight end. And then on your O line, you have uh, Bailey's Porter and Mr. G. We'll get to the defense when we see them come out, but uh, right now let's get, ooh, ooh, big hit right there by Tina Weir. But um, now let's get over to the East defense as that big D-line unit is led by Keystone Prince, DeQuavion Killers, uh, Kevin uh, Botang, and um, Snackpacks. And then you move out to the second uh, level of the defense and the linebackers. You see um, Roy Knight, Mike McIver, um, Arsonis. And analyzer. And then uh, that defensive back unit, we'll see uh, Tina Beer, Little Johnny, Nathan Boney, and Gunny. Reggie Watt, who is very familiar with these banana bowls. Ellie Perez looks to. Ellie Perez has been on a tear ever since he got snubbed of MVP a few seasons ago. He's coming for it this year, and I'm not quite sure he's going to get it. Hmm. So that boy Gaines comes in with the reflection as they try to connect with Iron Bonte Adams. Ooh, tries to connect there and just can't find a way. And Melly Perez is going to get in there for a nine-yard touchdown run, which will come up for the first one of the game. And the Easter on the board. And that is through. 
the uprights, and then it'll go to seven to zero. This should be a touchback as it is. And Bob Dunnett comes up there for a 23 yard catch in the grab. And just like that, Johnny Mutton Chops is in there to match Billy Perez for his touchdown as the West is looking to turn things up. And Herb Collins picks up a 14-yard run there. Ready, break. Fight one, two. Fight one, two. Hut, hut. Ready, break. Haywood Jabroni comes in with a huge pickup. Wow, Greg Olson. Greg Olson was just maneuvering his way right through with the defense right there for a big game. As him and Jaquan Freesmith has been looking very, very good together. There it is again. Ooh, 
tried to get one in there, just was not able to. Wow, what a game there for Bob. 42 yards, gives him two for 65 on the day. Chops for the second touchdown of the day. Perez is trying to get things done in the past game as well. Wow, Melly. Melly Barretta's. He's in there like swimwear. And this is 21 to 14, and we've got about a minute and 11 left in the, the second quarter. This has been a game. Wow. What a dot. What a catch. Wow. Could you imagine if Dingleberry and, and, and Davis were on the same team for a whole, whole season? Giant Lightning Chops. Wow. It's a good play right there for the chop. Analyzer kind of had his breakout season this year. Five, one, two. Five, one, two. 
Are they going to be able to get in the end zone right before half? Oh, and they take it up the middle with the run. Do they have time to call a timeout? They don't. And they have time for one play left, and they decide to kick it, and it is blocked by Snack Pack. Wow. Wow. Ain't that something? So it's 21-14 as we head into halftime with the West leading this one all behind the likes of Nelly Perez. We got a good one here on our hands, but let's get into the uh, second half. As the East start off with the ball, they have a chance to really extend this lead here. And Iron Vontae Adams and Juan Freesmith showing off that chemistry that they have together here in the Banana Bowl. Him and Greg Olson, Free Smith and Greg Olson has had some chemistry as soon as kickoff started. And it is it is on display. It's showing. I mean, look at that. Big touchdown right there as they extend this lead off rip. Did not take long for them to do so coming up. Ooh, nearly picked off. Ready, break. Fight one, two. Fight one, two. Hut, hut. Ooh, squeeze that one in there. Ready, break. And they brought out the chain game to get on the first down. Drew Davis takes off and shows those wheels. Picks up one. Ready, razor, razor. Yeah. Hut, hut. And we have a big third down here. And has a wide open dingleberry for a deep ball to the end zone for a touchdown to, to try to get things closer as they're going to go for two here. And they don't get it. Nathan Bodie comes up with the stop as the juke comes and it doesn't get him. So they tried to go for two. Didn't quite work out. Now they're down eight instead of seven. And I haven't been able to stop the East yet. Fumble! Wow. 
Wow, they gave it to Herb Collins up the middle and ended up fumbling. Uh, when you have a running back like Melly Perez in the backfield too, that's something you see him getting the dog pound. And they hand it to Melly on this one. Third and inches. to stop the thing he's looking for. Ready, it is. It is the stop they were looking for. 57 yard punt. That'll put it around the Ready, seven yard line. Nine, nine yard line. Hand it off up the middle to Micah Pope. Gets nowhere. Connects to Bob. Drew Davis and Bob Dunnick are playing great together today. Drew Davis has had better chemistry with Dunnick and, and Dingleberry than he has his own receiver, uh, Ben Watt. And we are in the fourth quarter. Ooh, he just sat in the pocket all night and waited until his receiver got open and Dingleberry did. And he just threw a good pass to him. Ooh, he tried to wait in the pocket there on that one and it just, just ended up collapsing on him and uh, Quavion Kellis comes in. Comes in there for a for a sack. And it is third and fourteen here, as things were going so good for the West, and now it's gone to a standstill. As it brings up a fourth and eight, so. It's a little easier, a little bit more manageable for it down. You gotta go for this. Sits in the pocket, and he finds a wide open Bob Dunnick out to the right, who catches it and runs into the end zone. And they're here trying to tie things up. And they hand it off up the middle to Johnny Mutton Chops, and it does not happen. Roy Knight, a future Hall of Famer, puts a stop to it. And it's plays like that where they went for it for two last time when they didn't need to, and then they had to go up for two this time, and they didn't get it. It's situations like that. Being reckless in the All-Star game. Wow, Iron Vontae Adams just mossed, it. <laughs> just mossed Lloyd Gaines. Ready, break. Down. Ooh, that one almost got picked off there, but instead Iron Vontae Adams shows up again. Said when the team needs me most. I'm here. Ain't not Melly Perez up the middle, and that gets a good game. Ready, 
It is now two minutes remaining. The East lead this thing by two. And it is 32. And they only get a yard. And it is now fourth and one. And they're going for it. And they get it and much more. Melly Braz with a hat trick in the banana bowl. Somebody give this man the MVP trophy. Wow. Almost blocked. Up for 34. They're trying here. They got about 25 seconds left. It's a nine point game. And the analyzer comes up for his third tackle for loss. A minute 20, second and 12. That one is nearly intercepted. Third and 12. Third and 12. What are we going to see? Ooh, nearly intercepted again. And this brings up fourth down. As Drew Davis has four incompletions this game. And two of them have just came. Has him wide open. What a move by Bob Donick. But he could not catch it. That is a great route right there. And a great throw. And he can't catch it. I don't know if he looked up field too soon. I don't know what happened there. But how are you in the All-Star game and you let something like that happen? As you expect the East just to run this one out, but it looks like Melly Brez is going for touchdown number four. defender on skates and picks up touchdown number four as time expired that man dropped a mic just won this thing 42 26 and he had four touchdowns Melly Perez put the east on his back as they finally get a W as they've taken two losses the past two seasons the East come out of here and win this thing 42 to 26 just a really really fun game to watch and a fun game to, um, to play if you're one of the players <laughs> um, Ellie Perez was your was your Banana Bowl MVP as expected. He had 14 rushes, 205 yards, four touchdowns, and he had a reception for seven with 39 return yards. What didn't he do? As Greg Olson and Iron Bonte Adams had a great game as well. Taquan Rios, I don't think, saw the field. Char Charlie Stagg didn't get him a catch. Mostly blocking. Herb Collins got him in. Herb Collins got him in the end zone as well. 
Um, no interceptions, no deflections by the East, but uh, a sack by Snack Pack. Like that. Uh, that block field goal. Drew Davis had himself two touchdowns, 352 yards. Uh, Bob Dunning had a great game outside that catch that mm, uh, crucial fourth down. Johnny Mutton Chutz had two touchdowns. Dingleberry had himself a game. Paulo Pickington got himself a deflection, but couldn't find a way to get an interception as he had four last week in the playoffs. But this was a fun one. Uh, this is the season six banana bowl with the East All Stars winning this one, 42 to 26 over the West. This is an exciting time. Uh, we appreciate all y'all uh, tuning in and watching. Um, congratulations to all the players who made it. And if you didn't, well, uh, there's always next year for season seven. So uh, keep upgrading, keep fighting, and keep um, keep being active. But um, this was a good one. This was a fun time. And we appreciate y'all watching. And until next time, peace.